Well, you guys, I thought I was too tough for jet lag, but apparently, 14 hours of sleep, I'm still feeling a little, a little groggy, but you know, my guy Greg hooked me up with my first eats of the day, a little banana. We're heading to go get some caffeine, because I think maybe that'll help my head feel a little better, and uh, who knows what's in store for today. It's rainy, so not sure if we're gonna be able to practice until maybe way late, but at that point, I don't know if it's worth it or not. We're gonna find out. Let's see what we're grubbing on today in Norway. Oh, this day. <laughs> All right, we have found the cafe, and uh, yeah, a little bit of a different experience. Ordered the quiche, it is cold, no way to warm it up. So, like Greg said, our bodies will warm it up naturally. And uh, I also got this beautiful latte thing. Greg got the classic Americano, so let's try them. We'll give you guys an update here in a sec. All right, I'm gonna give you all the first bite reaction on this cult quiche. Give me the Vatterman, I need that Vatterman quiche. All right, cold quiche with the spinach. Yeah, just how you expected. Tastes good. Pretty delicious. Um, <laughs> that spinach. If it was warm, this would probably be a strong eight out of ten. Not warm, honestly. It's quality enough. I'm gonna give it like a six point nine. You know. Greg got the other quiche with the ham, the ratatouille. Ooh, ratatouille. And uh, it's the same. It's you know. It may be a little more pleasant if it was warmed up. But the flavor's uh, good though. We're so hungry and in this need of calories at this point, it does not matter. Facts. Hold on. All Let's right, see. here's uh, here's Connor with his. Well, typically, guys, I order a breve when I go to a coffee shop, which is espresso, equal ish parts, half and half. Because he's fancy. Um, you know, it's just a latte with half and half. It sounds <laughs> fancy, but you know, um, they don't do that over here though. So I got this, I believe, Cafe a lot. Latte with some milk. Cafe Ole, baby. And I added the, they don't have like syrups or anything over here, which is probably great because a lot of those syrups have some garbage in them. But they didn't have a little like chocolate or caramel uh, like chips. So we added the caramel nice, chips. how nice that looks. I don't know, this thing's monstrosity. I asked Greg, do I drink it with my lips on that? Or do I just, do I need a straw? You just slurp know. it, baby. Oh yeah, quality. Um, Okay, so the no drink, it, here. drink itself, what's the rating, and then we'll rate the cup. Alright, cup, alright. Drink itself, we're gonna go, you know, it's a good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. I'm a, I'm a big sweet coffee guy, which I think coming to Europe I'm recognizing already one coffee shop experience in. I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit, and that's fine. Um, it's probably gonna be healthier for me to have less sugar in my coffee every morning, so I think that's something that I'll be okay with. The cup, honestly, 12 out of 10, like using my big mouth for something <laughs> that actually matters, I finally get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> you guys want to know how good of a friend my guy Greg is and how sweet of a person? He gave me this, not only the last bite, but the center bite of the cinnamon roll. Mm. Get you a friend like Greg G. Yeah. All right, midday update. We just finished a little meet and greet action. And then, you know, I feel like I just transported back to America. It's free, you know? Next meal will be better. Pizza, cold, decent though. I think this is warm, eight out of 10. Cold, 7.3. Out here is our new friend, Christian, and my guy, Greg. We just did a CTP challenge for school bread, so. We're about to get a new food experience here. And you know who got it. Tour Series Peanut Butter, somewhere in there. Yeah. In there, opposite, reverse. Yep, yeah, right, right, somewhere. Probably the most exciting part of the food vlog so far, because I won it <laughs> in a CTV battle against Christian and Greg. He loves winning. We got some school bread, uh, French inspired, but big here in Norway. I already had a piece, so I know what it tastes like. Greg's about to experience it for the first time, but. It has a touch of vanilla. This stuff is delicious. Vanilla cream mm. in two different ways. Like there's like a white creamy and then there's like a yellowy extra vanilla in the middle. It's soft. This is going to be good with coffee, I can tell. Or cafe. Soft. You can tell it's baked definitely within a day or two. It doesn't say this soft without being fresh baked. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm going. I'm going high on the scale here. We're getting our first, first one of the nines. I'm going with a 9.4. You know what? I won't give it a true nine and a half, but... This will be hard to beat. Um, I'll give it a, I'll give it again like a 7.9, just cause I know that there's a school bread out there that's a 10. And I don't think we're there. It's a smart man. I set myself up for, it's gonna be tough for me to find one 
that's going to be worthy of more points but i guess now we're on the search if you know where we can get the best school red let us know in the comments because we're trying for more i mean this is probably the thing i was most excited for in europe is the candy aisle I'm not gonna lie to y'all my guy adam hammy said i gotta try these smashers so you know what we're grabbing a bag and also we're grabbing the other essentials water candy and water that's all you need in the size of this five liter bad boy give me two of them it's dark out but not too dark to try our first european ice cream shout out to my guy greg hooking me up he had two in the freezer he said they needed to be eat before they melt you know i could help him out with that i don't mind being a good friend the lion bar from nestle or not lion uh cone i should say i thought i've seen these in the chocolate aisle, the international chocolate aisle, the little lion bars. So let's see how the ice cream's tasting. All right, first bite. What's the review? You know the rules. Substantial chocolate layer. A little vanilla chocolate mix. It's decent. Um, I think this thing got melted, and so the chocolate. Oh. Almost dropped, almost dropped it. Everything got shifted a little bit in there, a little hollow, but it's tasty, you know? I'm not gonna rate this one because I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings, sorry. It's getting late. Day number two is a wrap, y'all. I should be done consuming for the day. Maybe some more Norwegian water, you know, we always gotta stay hydrated. Thanks y'all for watching. Hope y'all been enjoying this uh, different set of videos. And uh, yeah, I think tomorrow, I'll probably try to film a practice round. So who knows who we'll have as a guest out here at Crow Call. Stay tuned to find out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, y'all.